So Baha, everybody, welcome back to Expose Tuesday. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a Recents floating application. It's a module that enables us to interact with certain applications in a floating method, regardless of where you are. As long as you're able to get into your Recents app, you'll be able to launch this and get the benefit of it. This is TK, let's check it out. First thing we wanna do is go directly into the uh, Expose installer. Yeah, we'll go in. And then look for, oh, here it is, Recents Floating App, version 1.3. Check the box, restart the device. Uh, by default, when you first install it, it gives you the ability to add up to three. Uh, once you go beyond the three, it gives you the information here. It says, do you need to actually have the pro version to be able to add any more? And the pro version is about a dollar. So if you want to support the developer and you like this application, please definitely make sure that you do that. Um, and then, of course, have some options here as far as the dimensions, closing the Recents App menu as far as when you launch one of their applications. Uh, but interfacing with it is very simple. You go to your Recents. And you'll notice right off the box that there's an additional button here. Uh, when you click it, it'll open up the options here and you'll be able to jump into whatever you want. So if I wanted the calculator, it brings up a little small calculator. It's a floating application over my home screen um, and actually over anything else that I'm running. And then if I can go in here, I can actually launch, let's say, I want to launch the camera. You're able to launch multiple instances of this. Uh, now the camera is black, of course, because, well, it's on the table. Uh, but this is something very easy to use. You can close it and then interface with what you need, and we'll go back. Uh, the main benefit of here, of course, is the ease of use. You can access it anywhere you are, just go into your Recents app. You don't need to have it open, and actually I can go ahead and close everything. Uh, other than that, you can add different things, and again, uh, hopefully we'll see some more things. Uh, we do have a built-in browser that we're able to use, and then of course we can make it bigger, smaller. It's very nice to have some multifunctional floating applications in this manner, and it works pretty well. And of course, the notes thing, as I mentioned to you before, uh, you're able to basically interface directly with it, and then you can save and open up different ones. Very, very nice, very easy. I uh, hope you guys like this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And of course, please recommend any modules that you'd like to be able to, uh, to see here directly um, on Exposed Tuesday. This is TK. Thank you for the support. I'll see you guys next time. Initial thing, it says, let's get started. Is swipe left for widgets. So we'll go ahead and swipe to the left. Front-facing camera. Fingerprint sensor is at the bottom. And again, this isn't a button. It's